I'm with Sam Fender here at Citadel Festival. How are you doing, Sam? Good. That's good pretty idea. good. I am doing really great. It's a little warm. It's bloody roasting, yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming this is a bit different from back home for you, because you're from yeah. Newcastle, yeah. right? Yeah, Newcastle like sitting inside the fridge. It's great. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I, I could enjoy that it's right now. It's always cold, even in the summer. Oh, that would be really good right about now. There's a surface as well, that like the surf in the North Sea, and it's always freezing as well. Seriously? Mad, mad. Yeah. Crazy people. Just thinking, did you film any of your videos up there then? Because I know there's been some kind of seaside imagery yes, around there. I filmed uh, Lee Fast. Nice. The video for Lee Fast is all my hometown. Amazing. All around, all around where I live. That's so cool. Where I grew up. So. Okay. Um, and speaking of both that song and I guess just kind of opening up to everything that you write, you write with an amazing urgency, sometimes a lot of bitterness, a lot of cynicism. I think my favorite for that's Millennial just because the energy in it is so like angry and I think there's something really great about that. Um, what made you start writing your music in this way? <laughs> yeah, just being, just, I think you pretty much described it yourself, yeah. I'm just a like, miserable uh, Yeah, in my early 20s. for uh, sure. I'm a, in my early 20s, so very, yeah. I think it's a very, uh, a very English thing to be as well. Just like yeah. pretty pissed off with uh, most things. Nah, nah. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fair enough. I, don't know, I just, I just, I, I, there's no like real. Um, I, I wouldn't get arsy about it or try and be pretentious. I just kind mm. of write about what I see. Yeah. Okay. I try not to overcomplicate things. Fair enough. Like that. You definitely don't. You write very poetically, which is amazing. I know you've said that, like Joni Mitchell, fellow Canadian. Yeah. I'm biased. Uh, Jeff Buckley are people yeah. that you love. Yeah. It made me think it's like a very old soul approach to very modern issues. Like yeah. obviously, you talk about being a millennial. You talk about, I guess, masculinity both from the perspective of men and yeah. women. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of uh, a lot of toxic masculinity in it. Yep. I yeah. think that's, that's the thing that's always going to be, it's, only, it's always going to be a problem until like kind of the mainstream media and all that start tackling it, but yeah. it is what it is. And I'm from, I'm from Newcastle, which is like, mm -hmm. can be, sometimes can be toxic masculinity For sure. general on a, on a weekend. Oh yeah. boy, yeah, I'm yeah. guessing that's where Friday fighting comes from yeah, quite a bit, yeah. yeah. That's all about, yeah, I, I mean, like, there's a, I think it's, we've, we've still kind of got a lot of that as well. Yeah. Like old school, boys don't cry fight kind of Friday nights. Of course. But, um, uh, I, I don't know, you, you've seen Geordie Shaw. <laughs> I actually haven't seen it. Good. Okay, I'm not missing anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really bad at reality TV in general. Like, I haven't watched Love Island. I haven't even watched Great British Bake Off. Wow. I'm really bad, yeah. Oh, that's great, you're, you're an uh, untainted mind. Oh boy. It's amazing. I don't you're know about that. You're, <laughs> you're free, you're free, unlike the rest of us. We're all, uh, we're all uh, had mind control from it, so yeah. Fair enough. Okay, this is totally jumping away, but there's something that you mentioned before we started rolling the camera. Yeah. You really like games of Would You Rather. Yeah. What was the question you asked me again? I said, would you rather have uh, eyelashes for fingers or fingers for eyelashes? Yeah, so I said that I would go with fingers for eyelashes because I feel like I could make that work somehow. Yeah. Yeah. What's your answer to that nah, question? I'm, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. Okay. Like, why would you... I play guitar. Yeah. So. Eyelashes that wouldn't isn't work. Gonna, isn't gonna cut it. It would just be like a really like like that kind of airy thing that some bands do. Like it, it, mm. it probably wouldn't make a noise, really. No, it, actually, it, wouldn't. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with the fingers. Just have these like. Plus, if I if I just you could just like it'd be good for when you're watching horror films. Oh my gosh, yeah! Just, I can't do those. That would be perfect. Slaps on your face, like mad, like yeah. it gets a bit too much. Oh, for sure. But then also people won't think that you've been scared because they'll be looking at your hands. Yeah. Cause I'm that kind of guy that does that. I, I kind of watch horror films. Oh, me neither. Time. I watched one and didn't sleep for a I, week. I, I, I force myself to watch them. I do enjoy them. Really? But like, I get through it, yeah. And I'm, I'm always peeking. I'm a peeker. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, I've gotten good at not doing that because yeah. that's not good for me. The last thing, you would look like you were in a horror film if you had yeah. eyelashes there that's as well. So it would be... That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Right, I think the last thing I want to ask, obviously we are here at Citadel and I think one of the best things you can ever ask an artist is who else they want to support. Is there anyone here that you really want us to know about? I don't know who's here. Because I <laughs> it's okay. Like, no, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Well, if I can just name a few like, artists that I really like at the moment. Yeah. I love a uh, singer somewhere called Brooke Bentham. Oh yeah, I've heard of her. I say Brooke because I'm from the north. Gotcha. I say Brooke on 
camera for the summer. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, Brooke Bentham. Um, she's just incredible. Yeah. Um, I love idols. Nice. I like uh, them too. Uh, I just bumped into Shame outside. Nice. They're lovely lads. Very good. Um, yeah, I like them as well. Um, and I'm going to plug two bands from up my end. One called The Pale White and okay. one called A Festival at Parade. I've heard of The Pale White. Yeah, A Festival at Parade. You need to check out. I quite like The National. Oh, I like, love The National. They're very, um, yeah, they're really, really good. They're kind of like that and a bit like Frightened Rabbit. Actually, I'm I'm adding a bit of a last tangent, but talking about like toxic masculinity, "Acts of Man" by Frightened Rabbit is one of my favorite songs yeah. ever. Unfortunately, rest in peace, Scott. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, Sam, thank you so much yeah. for chatting with thank me. This has been really lovely. Should we do this as like our yeah. our out? Bye. Thank you. <laughs>